So I'm going to talk to you today about a resource that we have here at the Moran um, called Web Vision. Some of you uh, may know about Web Vision. Um, some of you may not. I don't see many researchers in here. Uh, it's mostly clinicians. So let me give you a quick sort of background on Web Vision. So this was Web Vision in 2000 when I took over uh, management of it. Uh, Web Vision originated, we have a professor emeritus here, Helga Kolb, who, um, for those of you uh, unfamiliar with retinal research, uh, Helga is one of the gods of vision research um, historically. And uh, she was awarded the Proctor Medal at Arvo uh, in uh, 94, 95. And as part of that award, she decided that she was going to make an online textbook and make the information freely available to anyone in the world. Uh, so she got a little funding for that through the award and hired a woman by the name of Trish Godey, who was the original webmaster uh, of Web Vision. Uh, and Trish hand-coded up all the original HTML and had it served on, uh, on an old SGI server. Uh, and this went for about five years until I took over uh, management in 2000 and sort of maintained it for a while. Um, the problem with it was it was all hard-coded and so maintaining it was difficult. Uh, so what I did last year was update Web Vision uh, and put it on a new uh, blogging platform called WordPress. Uh, and I'll give you a live demo of Web Vision here in a minute. Um, the traffic to Web Vision is extensive. Uh, we serve up about a million visitors a year uh, to Web Vision from all over the world. Um, the only places, uh, these, these are stats from last year, the only places where we didn't get any significant traffic was uh, Mauritania, Faso, Chad, and uh, the Central African Republic, not places known for their uh, internet connectivity. Um, the major cities uh, that access Web Vision uh, are essentially uh, New York, London, Sydney, Chicago, Los Angeles, Melbourne, uh, Houston, Singapore, Manila, San Francisco, Seattle, Auckland, Seoul, Beijing, and Hong Kong. So it's truly a global resource. Uh, and the, the advantage, another advantage of moving it over to this modern WordPress-based uh, platform is that uh, people can actively and dynamically translate it into any language on the planet. Uh, including Cyrillic uh, languages. So uh, you can go and ask Google to do a dynamic translation into Russian or Yugoslavian <coughs> or uh, any number of, of resources. So I'll give you a quick demo here, if this works. So uh, this is Web Vision's main page. Uh, and what we've done historically is that it was a collection of book chapters. And so uh, this was the original Web Vision. And so there's book chapters on photoreceptors and outer plexiform layer, retinal circuits, uh, specific uh, GABA, GABA C receptors in the vertebrate retina, uh, and uh, a number of uh, different chapters that are written by different authors. And so, so this is actually kind of the interesting thing, is that different people will contribute chapters. This is one by Michael Coloniatis and Charles Liu on color perception. It's actually a very good chapter. Um, and uh, they'll publish, they'll make this information available to us and we'll publish it online for free. Uh, and people from all over the world access it. So uh, what we did last year in moving this over to the WordPress platform is um, there's a blog component now. And so in addition to the dedicated chapters for, for lots of coherent information, for short bits of information, there are these blog posts. And we've got uh, categories for uh, notable papers. So if we can go here. Uh, the 100 papers you should read in vision science is, is an ongoing category. Uh, the art of vision, uh, events, grand rounds, uh, which is some interesting uh, content that's uh, generated here, uh, including uh, some imagery from uh, the ophthalmic imagers here. That's, that's sort of interesting or notable. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's a pretty useful category. Um, I've structured the blog portion to sort of um, 
take advantage of the internet and internet search engines. And the nefarious part of this is to game Google and game the search engines to give researchers here at the Moran a little bit of boost in search engine rankings. So when uh, a post goes on to Web Vision, um, Google indexes it very quickly and uh, it can start boosting the rankings. So we have a researcher here, David Krizai, who uh, is uh, an expert in trip channels, um, which are small protein channels that do everything from sense heat to sense mechanical uh, stress. Uh, and he appeared nowhere on the web. And with a single blog post, we got him the number one and number two spots on Google, which for uh, people that are applying for grants uh, is starting to become more interesting as NIH and NSF are moving towards a more sort of federated model of grant review. Somebody that may be reviewing a grant may not be a subject matter expert, and the first place that they start turning is search engines. And so if we can start having our faculty show up as the first item or two in, in a search, then there's some sort of uh, uh, inherent credibility there. So what I'm going to do is show you uh, a quick example. So this is a post I made uh, early this morning. So this is, this is a, a, an administrator dashboard, and uh, we have a, a former uh, investigator here at the Moran uh, by the name of Chi Bin Chen. Chi Bin Chen died last year, uh, and he was a, a much loved uh, faculty member uh, that did a lot of things. Uh, and there's been an award that's established uh, in Chi Bin's name. Uh, and so this is just a, a blog post that I'm going to put up. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to search Google for Chi Bin Chen Award. And we're going to see what comes up. Uh, so he has a legacy uh, that, that noted his obituary. Uh, there's an item in the Zebrafish News community. So Chi Bin Chen was a visual researcher that worked in the Zebrafish. Uh, and then there's a couple of other items, and then it starts, <coughs> we start getting weird stuff um, that uh, doesn't really relate to the Chi Bin Chen Award. So we're going to see if we can publish this. So I'm going to say publish. And this is now going live on Web Vision. So it's now the next post up, and it knocked everything else down, one post. Uh, and so we're going to come over here. And we'll give Google a minute to update. So this is the server right now. And so as people contact the server, we'll see things start showing up here. Let's go, move this out of the way. And we'll see how long it takes for um, Google to index it. Uh, so this is this is a picture of uh, a server that Web Vision is running on right now, and so people are, are dynamically accessing Web Vision from all over the planet. So so this is these are people that are act actively hitting the server, um, and this is traffic coming through the server right now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to see how long it takes for Google to. So if I'm looking at something, I can see what the content of the server is. Yes, uh, and so what I. What I'd like is for our faculty to start contributing to this. And it turns out it's a great resource uh, and an easy way to get absolute international recognition. So, um, and I'm just teasing. Uh, so, Google and search engines are already showing this site. And so, they're indexing it. And, and Google is fast these days. So, usually within a minute of a, of a post going up, they pay attention to Web Vision. Web Vision has a, a Google rank that actually equals that of General Motors. Um, and so uh, we're going to go back now, and we're going to say, let's do a search, a Google search for Award. 
latency news. Oh, this was the risk. Um, so in the time, we'll have to, I'll have to check back a little bit later, but sometimes within a minute or two, it'll start showing up in Google and we'll get the number one and number two Google rank site for, for various content. Uh, doesn't look like Google's going to change at all. Um, but that's, that's the general idea. And so um, using Web Vision and using the sources of uh, publishing Web Vision, the idea is to sort of start getting our faculty uh, recognition and uh, name out there on the internet. Right. So, well, so, so there's a discussion here. Um, you know, we could do a clinical version of Web Vision, or we could just start using Web Vision to start publishing more clinical content. And it's a great opportunity for residents and faculty to start producing uh, small bits of information for a blog post that may be relevant for a grand rounds, or uh, interesting case studies, or um, uh, any number of any number of topics. Ideally, it'd be retinal related uh, to, to keep with the history of web vision, but uh, we've got things in the anterior portion of the eye as well. So um, I'll, uh, I'll check back in a minute and uh, maybe after Kathleen's talk, we can, uh, we can see where Google's at. <laughs>